Okay, that's your warning that you're being recorded. Mm -hmm. um, so, cool. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'll sort of start chatting because we are conscious of the time. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, welcome. It's great to see you all. I hope you're, you're looking forward to sort of starting the course. I've met some of you this week, but just to explain, I'm Teresa Lindsay, the curriculum manager for the fashion design course and the fashion technology course. And Janet Hansen's one of the lecturers on fashion design. So we're here to sort of give you a bit of an introduction into the course. We've only got 30 minutes set aside, which is not long enough for what we need to cover. But we, we are aware that some of you will be anxious or maybe have questions on what's happening in day one or what, what does my timetable really mean? I'm not understanding it. Um, and to talk about Canvas, you maybe haven't been... Um, got Canvas set up yet. I'm not too sure if the sort of ICT department send out information on Canvas. So we're trying to sort of gauge that out with the students that are on campus just now. If, if those are aware of Canvas, it might be totally new to you. But Canvas is our VLE. It's where we upload all our course materials. It's our teaching platform and you will use it daily. Um, you'll access all your sort of course materials and have additional course information on there. So I'm going to start sharing my screen and let you see what Canvas looks like. So on this, once you see it in a wee minute, um, click share. Okay, can you see that sort of other pink pages here? Yep. 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 Janet can speak to me, yeah. So <laughs> huh, um, you should have a pink course card when you are signed into Canvas. I have got multiple course cards here because obviously I'm in charge of multiple courses, but um, I can tell the difference between the course codes that's here. But you should have one course card that's all about the course, everything to do with time, to, general course information. I'm just going to move down to show you that your other course cards, or your other cards, these are your subject cards. Now you'll see they'll have nice pictures that relate to the, the subject matter. And that will be your, your class, your subjects that you'll click into to follow that lesson. So what I'm going to do, and I will go into student view so it doesn't sort of confuse you. I'm going to open the fashion design one and then I'm going to open the student view here because you'll maybe see some other stuff that might be detracting uh, from it. So when you go into your, your student view of your, the course, this is your actual course, fashion design and manufacture, your course code you're on. All class groups, A, B, C, D, will be assigned to this on Canvas. Um, it's easy for us to upload the material once, but you all get assigned to that. So this is just a, a welcome page. It just lets you see um, what, uh, the, what you'll be learning, all the sort of CAD skills and how we're looking forward to you being on the course. We're, you're here for two years ideally, but obviously some may choose to leave after one year with an HNC, but you're signed up for an HND. So that's the sort of front page. When you go into modules, which is the main page where all the information is, now this is where I'm going to, um, oh, I'm in student view, that's right. So this is a course handbook. I'm going to open this and talk you through course handbook because this is where all the vital information about your course will be. So it's going to show, sorry, the front cover is there, it tells you your course you're on, it's got the correct year. We do have a contents page and you'll see it's quite an intense contents page, all about guidance and library and academic appeals. It's too much for us to go through in one sitting and you would probably get bored or fed up with it, but there are important information you do need to know. So once you start the course full time the 23rd of August, I will either arrange possibly your Thursdays because you'll be remote on Thursdays. Um, I'll book wee slots to come in and do online uh, more induction and more information, which is quite good as the weeks go on because you'll have more questions to ask. But the first couple of pages I do want to show you because when you go down the page, we've obviously got this welcome, which is we're obviously really keen to see you. The, this course, this team of staff are really looking forward to seeing you. Um, and that's a sort of general one that's on all our courses, but this next page is a vital one. It's good for you guys. You've got all our contact details. This is the staff that will be teaching you um, throughout your course. Sometimes it may change if we need to change timetables and you might not have them all in block one, but this is all the sort of staff that will be teaching you. Susan Prentice is the faculty admin. You can see her email there 
if you feel you need to email in to her, if you want to change your name or address, it'd be Susan you email. If you are not going to be in and you want to also email Susan as well as staff, um, you've got the emails there. Now, this course handbook will be on Canvas, but until you are really logged into Canvas and have it up and running, I will send it in a separate email to you all tomorrow, along with your timetables separately. It also has the course dates. We run three 12 week blocks. So you'll see, as we say, the full time programme starts 23rd of August. So it runs from 12 weeks. Then you have a new timetable, which obviously is, is worked out at the moment, but all timetables are generally subject to change. And then that's the block three dates. So you can see the days have a morning session, an afternoon session. Sometimes you'll be timetabled in for full day. Others that might just be a morning or afternoon session. And that's the sort of start and end times that's, that's assigned. Again, that might change your staff. Might, you might be in in the morning and you've got a remote subject in the afternoon. We haven't timetabled that for block one, but it could happen through block two or we might change halfway through block one if the guidance changes. So we might say, right, well, we're actually going to start your afternoon class at half one or at two o'clock to accommodate it. But that's the, the general times of classes when we're normally on campus. Um, it's got college holidays listed there, which is quite nice for you to see so that you know when the holidays are. And then it, it starts to go down to into more technical information, which I'm not going to go through today. It was just to let you see where that is. So what I'm also going to do now is just show you um, the timetable. Now, most have all been amended this week, not a difference in days. So I'll open up the A1 to let you see what we've decided just till we get more guidance and clarity from senior management is that we will have you remote for your design classes. And again, I will send each class group this separately tomorrow along with your um, course handbook. And you'll be in for blended learning with your, your sewing production class patterns and so on. So at the moment, each group will have one day blended on campus and your other sessions will be remote. You can see we always populate the full year so you can see how it's planning out. But as I say, that's subject to change. We may um, sometimes have to move a day. It's very, it's very unlikely that it happens greatly but if a member of staff is all for something happened we needed to make changes then we would try and give you as much notice but we we give you the full year so you can set a plan ahead and um, what's expected and on that basis i just want to sort of show you what we, we mean by a blended learning so i've got an example here of the 1a but we will populate the b c and d class So how we deliver the blended learning, you'll see here, this is the A class. We've split it into two groups, a group one and a group two. This is for 12 weeks that's here. So you can see that the, the red group one will be in on the 23rd, sorry, half, the half of the class, which is this half here will be in the 23rd and the other half are working at home remotely. And then it changes. So it's every alternate week with the other group. The staff teaching you will all also be emailing you and reminding you exactly which group it's in or anything like that and they'll start to give you um, a rapport with you. So it lets you see the classroom that you're going to on the 10th floor of the building. If, again, if you've been in for your um, fast track, you'll, you'll see where that is. At the moment, there's a limit to two people. Um, we're, we're waiting additional guidance this, this week. Um, because obviously, as, as the government have said, there's no social distancing, but face masks are to be worn. That might change. Um, but at the moment, this is what we have. And again, if it changes, we can update this and put it in the system. There is one way systems clearly marked out in the college. You'll see that when you when you arrive. And obviously, your tutor will sort of give you the guidance on the class rules. But this is the equipment you would need. A lovely image here just to make sure that you don't bring the, right, the, the wrong things. This is those who haven't been on campus yet will get their art kit and their pattern kit when they're in uh, for this uh, fast track. But this is the essential equipment that you would, you would bring. At the moment, we're not really having much canteen facility. Um, a manager's meeting yesterday, they said they would have limited facility at the Corona campus but none at the other two campuses. So I suppose we are fortunate at the moment. 
Um, the library will be open and in the course handbook, there's library times. It's just during the day um, from nine to sort of four, really. It starts to sort of close after that. But again, it's in your course handbook. You can obviously print off materials um, of what you're needing. So that's the sort of how a blended learning would look. Now, what I think is going to be more important to you just now is that Janet will um, talk through so this summer project, how beneficial that's been. I know that's the sort of thing you might not have started or you're really worrying if you've done the right thing and how that feeds into your units. So she can sort of let you know more on this uh, subject side and, and any, some, any concerns you've got around that. All right. Okay, so I'll share my screen with you. Um, I'm just going to talk you through, um, I'm not going to go into detail on the, the summer project. You have all got a recording of the meeting of that if you need to go over that again. But I'm going to just talk you through um, what, how we're going to um, look at that. And I'm just going to change this to student view as well so that you're not looking at all the, there's still some of last year's stuff up there that we're just tidying up. So basically you'll see um, on Canvas that you've got a section, you've got the first section that, that Teresa has talked you through where you've got your general course information like your handbook, your timetable, your blended learning timetable and any other kind of general uh, forms. So below that, we've got a section that's induction and it's specifically for your course for HND fashion design. So I'm just gonna talk you through this because there's a couple of things that we want you to do. And I'm aware that you might not all be um, able to access Canvas um, at the moment. Please check through your emails in case that's all been sent. And that's one of the things I'd quite like to know in the questions at the end. To get onto Canvas, you first of all have to activate your college email and then you'll be able to log into Canvas and you'll be able to access all this information. So until you do that, you won't be able to um, see what I'm showing you. But when you are able to get on, I would like you to go onto your course page, this one, and look at this induction for HND Fashion Design. So I'll just go through the pages with you. The first page is a little bit of a repeat of the information in the course booklet. So it's just giving you um, the emails of the contacts. So Teresa's obviously the curriculum manager, um, the production team, so Anne, Carol, Tony and Teresa will be teaching you production and then the design team of Heather, Mary, Marion, Moira, Kirsty and me. I kind of go halfway between the two. Um, and then on to the next page. We've set up an assignment for your holiday project. So what we would like you to do is upload your images onto, it's a web-based portfolio site called Portfolium. So the instructions to log on are on the next two pages. So this is to get you used to being able to upload um, your visual work. We use Portfolium as the kind of um, portal or holding point for all your visual work. So for your working drawings class, for your fashion illustration class and for some of your professional design practice class, you will set up a portfolio account and you will set up a portfolio project within that. So I've set a deadline for the last week in September, for the 24th of September. So that's to give you enough time to get yourself onto Canvas, to get your project finished and to get logged on and portfolio set up. I'm going to show you where the information is. I'm not going to go through it in detail just now because I'm sure you will not remember, but your tutors will go through it with you um, during the class time. So here we have the project. So you were asked to look at the idea of a DVD and you were asked to photograph your ideas of what a DVD would be. So this just gives you the quality project again. I know that you've all got the link to it, but it's really important that you do all the tasks that we asked you to, because within professional design practice, we are going to be using all this research you've done. And we've got a tie up with a company that you're going to produce promotional images for. So you need to have done this project. For fashion illustration, you will need for your first week, you will need your silhouettes, your figures, 
and also the beginning of your research into fashion illustrations. I think we've asked for six examples. So you will need that for your first week. And then you will also need it for working drawings. We're going to be um, using that theme for your working drawings as well. So I'm just going to close out of that just now. Uh, sorry, I just was going to close back down. Oh, hang on a wee sec. Let me just I've managed to uh, lock myself into that big screen and I can't seem to get back out of it again. Right, hang on. I'm going to stop sharing for a wee minute. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my... And here I thought it was me that had the technical issue <laughs> earlier. <laughs> We were doing a wee practice. You sort of managed to, uh, right, I'm going to have to shut Canvas down there. It's not, it's actually just not speaking to me. So um, you want me to open in? Talk among yourselves for just like two minutes. Hang on. What I'll do is, does anyone get any questions at the moment regarding anything at all? Do you feel as though you're, you're understanding what the timetable looks like when it's in green and remote? That means you're working from home. Your member of staff will send you a Zoom link that you will log into class and work remotely and like I say we've split each class into two groups for blended learning so that then half will come in now that might only last for a few weeks until we hear how the guidance is I'd like to think it doesn't go on longer than the October week we'd like to have full classes in that's our plan but um, we just haven't had any confirmed guidance yet from senior management or the government you know or the, the senior management's take on what the government is saying so we're just trying to make it as safe for all staff and students uh, as much as possible. But we're always here to help. Should you be struggling in any way, you, you know, you've got my email address um, and any staff you can sort of need to chat to. Just I've don't got, sit silent. <laughs> I've got that up now. Um, cool. I'm just going to share my screen again with you and then I can just show you. Sorry about that, everybody. I just seem to have a bit of a wobble there. And this happens all the time. Can I just warn you when we're having classes, there'll be, there'll be, <laughs> there'll be things going wrong. So the next page after the, the DVD project is how to set up your e-portfolio on Portfolio. So you have to log in. You have to log in and we'll go over this with you again with your personal email and not with your college email. And the reason for that is this portfolio folio account you can take with you right through this course right through any other course. So if you go into a degree or right through your professional life. So it's your own your own website. This is, is linked to Canvas, but it's not actually anything to do with college. So it's really just a, a web-based storage system for your work. And I'll show you some examples of it in a minute. So there's two files here, one about getting logged on and getting started. And as soon as you as soon as you have the information, just go ahead and try and set this up. And then the next page is about creating and sharing projects on Portfolio. So it's how to log up, how to log on your images, and then how to make sure that the staff can see them. And then when you go to your assignment, you'll see that it will ask you for a URL. So you just copy and paste your URL from your project into the assignment, and then the lecturer is able to access it. So it worked really well last year. Um, as I say, it was fine. I think everybody just took a wee minute. It took a, a couple of weeks to get everybody logged on, but once everybody was logged on, it was brilliant. So that's the way that we want you to upload your holiday project for us. And then on the next thing, we have a little bit of a quiz. So basically, we just want to get to know a bit about you. We also want to get you used to uploading assignments onto Canvas. So we've got a few questions and it's just so that we can get a wee picture of you. So what are your ambitions? What are your hobbies? What are your interests? The questions are all meant to be fun. So um, it's just to give you practice, as I say, to uploading to Canvas. So if you don't wish, wish to answer any of the questions that are there, please just leave them blank. But do have a shot at doing some of it because it's important that you get used to using this and, and understand it. And then there are some there's some general information if I go back to the modules I'm not going to go over this in detail but there's some general information about making the most of canvas logging in and using the dashboard 
uploading assignments. There are all sorts of short tutorials and videos that will help you use Canvas on the main course page. There's also um, some study advice, getting ready for study, study skills course review, and then some induction information into college resources. So IT services at Glasgow Clyde, learning inclusion, and also things to do with the library. So we also have additional information on looking after yourself. I think it's been particularly important from the last year that we've been on that you find um, a good way of working remotely and a good sort of work-life balance and that you're trying to keep a, a regular getting up time, looking after yourself, eating properly, looking after um, everyone else in your course as well and being friends with everybody and getting to know people. So there's, there's lots of information here on well-being, on stress, on positive thought. Um, so you can have a look at all these as well. So these are really helpful. And there's, there's quite a lot of information there. So it might not be something you're going to trawl through right away, but you might find that as you go through that you might think, oh God, I'm finding this really hard to juggle all my deadlines. And some of these things might really just, just help you. Um, so I'm going to just quickly take you on to portfolio. So Teresa, will you let me know if you can see portfolio here? I can see, yeah, can see that fine. I'm hoping that I can manage to log in here. Sometimes it used to always let me in automatically, actually. Uh, but it's probably because I haven't been on it for a couple of months. Uh, I should have had this up and ready, but I just was thinking, oh, um, that it might be good Hi. to show you this. So continue. And password is... Uh, I think I've got the right password. Mm -hmm. Back down. Taking a bit of time. Oh, I think it's going here. Let me just see if. Right, that looks better. Just me putting in the wrong password. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. This is my portfolio account. So you can see there that it's got me at Glasgow Clyde College. And then if I click onto my section here and onto portfolio, you can see that I've got it set out in different projects. So basically you're setting up a digital sketchbook um, and that's showing you, um, that's letting you keep all your work together. So I've got um, different ones, different examples that I've shown for different um, different subjects. So I'll take you on to, uh, well, the drape one's a first year one. So let's just go into that one. So this is what we view when we view your work. And I can put this up to full screen as well. And it allows the tutor to just flick through the images. So this was a, a, a project that we'd asked the students to do last year for their drape unit, which is a unit you'll get later on. Um, and they were asked to do some research into designers. And they were asked to then take some images. So do some sketches to do some drape, do some sketches, take some photographs of drape, do some more sketches. So you can see you can combine photographs, you can combine research, you can combine your drawings, and it just makes up like a, like a digital um, sketchbook. And if I edit the project, again, we'll show you this again. Um, all right, I'll just see the cover draft, right? So you can see that I've got all my different pages there. I just need to go to upload a file and then I can upload a file from my computer. You can have Portfolio on your phone. So if you want to, you can um, upload images from your phone. You can delete pages. So if you've done something and you don't really like it, you think you could improve it, you can delete it. 
And you can also add some annotation to it. So you could write a message to say, you know, this was my drape that I, that I experimented with. I used calico, I draped it onto a black t-shirt. I took some photographs against, you know, against my bedroom wall or whatever. I think it worked really well. I think I'd like to try something else. So you can give extra information about that. And I think you can also actually move these pages around. So if you feel that you that it's in the wrong order, you can play around with it and move them around. So that just maybe gives you a little bit of uh, an overview of what portfolio looks like. And you can build up, you'd have a different project for each of your um, each of your subjects. And the URL, if I go into that, then I'm just photo I'm just copying that URL at the top and I'm putting that into the assignment and that will allow the tutor to access your project. So a very quick overview of what portfolio is. So I'm going to stop sharing that with you. Um, so that's us just coming up to five o'clock. So I think that's probably all I want to talk about just now and maybe just see if you've got, if people have got some questions. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody ask a question. Surely someone must want to know something or otherwise we're really impressed. You found that. We talked so well. Under yes, you understand what we're talking about. Abby, you want to say something? Uh, so obviously there's some of us that were doing the foundation course last year. So we were yep. using a uh, portfolio in Canvas. So is it just the same login details? Yes. That we would use for this year? Yes, if you were with us in foundation last year and you've already set up your portfolio account, you just keep that same account. That's your account, Abby. But what we'll ask you to do is set up a new project for each of your new subjects. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Good. Anyone else got a question? I had a question about the, um, was it the summer project? Yes. Because uh, I hadn't started it yet. Okay. Um, but is, am I still able, because I think I start on Monday the 16th um, as part of the fast, fast track. track yeah. 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 So do I need to have some of that completed before then or can I continue it throughout that week? No. We'll start asking you for things the week beginning the 23rd. Okay. Um, I've set the upload date, the sort of deadline date for the 24th of September. So I've given you like about three Sorry. weeks, I think, at the beginning of term mm -hmm. to get logged on and get that logged up. But you will find that, um, say, in your fashion illustration class that Marion or Moira will ask you to have maybe some figures ready to draw with and they'll, they'll expect you to maybe have some research. So try and get as much as you can done, Lewis, even if you're not ready to upload it yet have have the materials there because you will be yeah. using them in your in your remote classes okay okay, okay. and thank you any uh, other question no no okay can i just ask as well i think i did let some people in late so i think there's maybe a few people that haven't signed their name in the chat for me so if if you're one of these people if you haven't put your name in your chat in the chat would you do that before you uh, log off the call and then for everybody that's due in for fast track next week we look forward to meeting you uh, and for everyone that was there this week um, well done well done um, <laughs> and like i say tomorrow i will email all class groups with the confirmed timetable it's not a change days it's just that um another subject to that was remote so i will send all class groups an updated timetable i'll send you all the course handbook so you can have a look at it it also gives you instructions at the end of it how to create your own college email um to get into canvas so if you haven't yet tried that you could maybe have a look at that as well um, we'll send as much information email wise just now to make sure you're, you're able to get into Canvas where all the, the documentation would be um, for going on. Okay. The other thing I would say is for your remote classes, just quickly before I go, um, we'll be using probably Zoom for, for most of them, but also we might use Teams for some sort of communications during class. So, you know, you, you will get access to Microsoft 365. Teams, yeah. which has Word, Excel, Teams, PowerPoint, well, OneDrive, you'll get mm -hmm. a OneDrive account where you can store all your files and things. So um, 
if you get a chance once you get logged on to all that just try and familiarize yourself with all these things and also there is a canvas app that you can download the app on your um phone or laptop or ipad again that information is on the in the course handbook but it's it's good and handy for sort of looking through some course materials obviously your phone isn't as big a screen but you can still get access to everything that you need okay Okay, well, if that's everything. Thanks so much. Stop the recording now, and um, we'll let you go. Have a good weekend, and those of you are doing next and next week, we'll see you then. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.